Hello everyone from Japan and welcome back to Japan Vintage Camera where today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting uh, vintage Japanese camera and that is the Press Van 120. So if you're interested uh, in this camera or other vintage Japanese cameras, I sell these on my eBay and Etsy stores and I'll provide links to my stores in the description below. So getting back to the camera here, as you can tell by the name, or as the name implies, the press van uh, camera was marketed toward uh, press photographers. Uh, in the early or mid-50s, uh, larger formats were still popular with press photographers, and the Graflex uh, 4x5 cameras were still among the most popular cameras among press shooters. But... Uh, you know, carrying around a large format camera uh, and changing the, the film holders and all that is quite difficult. And uh, of course, we eventually evolved to 35 millimeter and uh, digital photography uh, for uh, press photographers. But uh, in the mid 50s, there was still really uh, a strong demand for the larger format press uh, cameras. And the press van was intended for that market. So the press van was produced by the Suzuki Optical Company. And an interesting thing is the, the lens, which is a, a Takumar lens, like those used in Pentax cameras. Now this one uses a 75mm f3.5 lens, uh, which is a good all-around uh, medium format uh, focal length, a little bit wider than some of the other lenses. Makes it uh, really suitable for uh, indoor shooting uh, and such. Uh, the press van uses 120 film, which is commonly available, and uh, being one of the oldest film types out there is probably going to continue being available for a long time. So this is one of those uh, cameras where you can still you know, easily find film and will probably be able to find film uh, a long time into the future. The press van is a, a collapsible camera. To uncollapse it, you push down uh, this lever on the front of the uh, camera and uh, the lens and shutter pop out. Uh, focus on the camera uh, is performed by turning this focusing dial on the top and the dial on the top will tell you what the, the distance is. Uh, the film winding knob is on the other side. Uh, to fire the camera, uh, charge the shutter like so and wind to the next frame and depress the shutter button. It's actually a, a very nice camera, very smooth operating. I'll go ahead and uh, collapse it here. It makes it a little easier to handle. Oh wait, uh, something I forgot. Uh, on these cameras, the Press Van 120, we have a little bit of a little foot which folds down on the on the lens mount. And this allows you to take like the uh, the 50s uh, version of a selfie uh, photo. You can put a mechanical uh, self timer uh, in the shutter release, set the camera on a flat spot, uh, uh, press the go button on the timer, uh, and get in the right spot on the other side, and you have your selfie. All you have to do is develop the film and, and print it, and then you know, you're, you're good to go. The Press Van uh, 120 is, of course, a rangefinder camera, and here we see the windows on the top. We have uh, the viewfinder window here, and we have the rangefinder windows, and these operate uh, almost identically to our uh, earlier Leica camera. On the back here, you have uh, uh, two viewfinder holes, one for the rangefinder and the other for the viewfinder. And uh, the range fat. The rangefinder focusing patch on these is actually quite nice. Uh, it's quite bright, surprisingly, uh, better than most of the Leicas which, uh, of the era which it copied. Uh, the Press Van 120 is a dual format camera. You can shoot uh, 6 by 6 centimeter or 4.5 by 6 centimeter uh, if you like to use the camera for portraits. Uh, opening the back door, uh, we see a mask here, which you open for 6 by 6 or close by for 645. And then here we have the releases so you can move, remove or uh, load the film inside the camera. Uh, 
these are quite hard to find with the original lens caps. Maybe one in three or four that I find of these uh, still has uh, the original cap. Uh, you can use uh, other caps. I've seen uh, these fitted with, I think, uh, lens caps from, uh, like the Olympus pin is a similar size, and uh, you can find something that'll fit on if you happen to have lost the original one. Uh, here I have the original leather case, and inside this small case here is a uh, hood. And it's a Tubasa hood, uh, aftermarket hood, uh, designed for uh, uh, twin lens reflex cameras. But uh, it just slides on the front of the press van. And you know, the case here opens up on the back, so if you're shooting with like a half case, the front half of the case uh, can be detached with these snaps and then you have like a half case to carry around the camera and also protect it from getting scratched or bumped or damaged if you drop it. Now the, the press van cameras are, are not very common. Uh, despite being very well made and reliable, they, they last forever and it, it's very rare that no matter you know how beat up or used these cameras are when I find them, they, they almost always work. Uh, uh, the shutters can sometimes be uh, sticky in them. Uh, fortunately, they're usable, you know, user serviceable. You can just uh, thread off the the front lens element, and you can clean off the shutter blades a little bit of lighter fluid or something. Uh, the focus uh, can sometimes uh, become stiff, uh, and you can lubricate the focus and uh, make it go a little easier by uh, lubricating the focusing shaft on the inside and uh, if you have the tools to remove the uh, cap screw here you can also lubricate the eccentric which uh, pushes the uh, shutter mechanism up and down. Overall these are a really uh, excellent and well-made camera and they're designed for rugged use um, and, and they take superb photos. Um, if you're looking for a really interesting uh, camera uh, uh, rather than the, the, with the TLRs, which are quite popular right now, or a lot of the other uh, uh, folding cameras of the time, the Mamiya 6 or the Zeiss Icons and things, those are quite uh, good cameras as well, but uh, the press van offers a better uh, viewfinder, rangefinder system than those cameras. And uh, personally, I think the Takamura lens is better than a lot of the uh, lenses which you find in some of the older uh, uh, folding uh, medium format cameras. So anyway, uh, that's going to be it for the review of the Press Van 120. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions uh, about this camera or other cameras, uh, feel free to ask or leave a comment below. And as I said, I have this camera for sale for the moment. I, you know, these usually go pretty quickly. Uh, but I, I, I should have more uh, of these available as I find them. Uh, as I said, please check the, uh, click the links uh, in the description below to visit my stores and see what I have available. All right, uh, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video.